Today I want to talk to you about the popularity of donuts and how they're becoming a complete resurgence now in the market. With artisan donut shops and bistro style restaurants popping up, not to mention TV shows featuring donuts, today I want to talk to you about how to make complete dessert style donuts with what you already have in your bake shop. What I have here is our traditional Bismarck donuts already soaked with our Trigal Dorado Alegria soaking liquid. So this donut already has a nice moist flavor and texture to it, reminiscent of a Tres Leches cake. So what I'm gonna do is take some fresh whipped cream, pipe right on top, and I'm gonna to top with some fresh fruit. Because this cake is already soaked, just wanna be careful when you pick it up and handle it. If you want, you could even put some kiwi, mango, any fresh fruit on top to complement the Tres Leches soaking liquid. Let's take the flavors of green tea and make a dessert donut. Here I have our super speedy recipe using green tea matcha powder. Take the matcha powder, dissolve it in hot water, and use that in the liquid in your formula. Again, I'm gonna take our Bismarck Donuts. I filled this with a light cream. You can see the matcha powder gives it a nice light green color, but also a very clean flavor. You don't wanna overpower the flavor of green tea, so whatever filling you put in, make it nice and light. Now we can go ahead and decorate. Here are some couverture decorations that I've made and some crisp pearls. Less is more, you don't have to overcrowd. The flavor is really what you're selling. So here I have two different types of glazes using our boron fruit purees. I have a raspberry and I have a passion fruit. Take the formula for the super speedy, omit the water and replace with warm puree. You can always adjust the consistency with water after, but make sure that you've got a nice flavorful glaze using that boron puree. So for my raspberry, give it a quick stir. I'm gonna dip our super fine cake donuts. If you wanted to put some fresh fruit on this, you can. I'm gonna pipe a little cream in the center and garnish with our twinkle pearls. So I have the flavor of a raspberry smoothie in a donut. So summertime, think passion fruit, bright, tart, really beautiful flavor and a nice color to it. Here I have our master mix, yeast raised. Dip these in your vanilla dipping icing first or even white chocolate ganache. Then dip in your glaze and your colors will even be more pronounced. Make it colorful by using a variety of the twinkle pearls this time. So who doesn't love a s'more? Think back to campfire days. Here I have our choco donut that I'm gonna go ahead and dip in our save avant dark ganache. Garnish with some graham cracker crumbs. Take some marshmallow filling or mini marshmallows. We're gonna pipe right in the center. And then what's a s'more without that toasted taste and flavor? And then we have to garnish with a candy bar. Wesco has captured the flavor of a red velvet cake in a donut. Here's our Wesco red velvet cake donut that we're gonna turn into a beautiful finished dessert. So I'm gonna dip this in our dark chocolate ganache. You could also dip in milk or white chocolate. We have to have cream cheese icing in our red velvet cake. So we're gonna pipe that right here on the top. Now we're gonna finish with some chocolate decor. Remember, these are dessert style donuts. These aren't just quick donuts on the go. So take a little bit of that, just extra two seconds if you can, put an extra little bit of garnish on them. Take just an extra second or two, finish the donut completely. You'll be able to sell them for additional profit in your shop, and you're gonna to start to be a trendsetter. So let's go ahead and make a very grown-up version of a donut. Think margaritas. Here I have our Bismarck style donuts, dipped already in our white chocolate ganache, and what I'm gonna do is dip it in a tequila lime glaze. So this is our super speedy formula, but instead of just water, I've used tequila and lime juice with the addition of water. Make sure to taste it so it's not too overpowering, but a nice kick of tequila, but a nice bite of lime. You can see the lime zest on top. So now we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with a little bit of cream and some lime curd. Because we put a little lime zest in our glaze, we've used a candied lime slice. And remember, this is margarita. Gotta put a little pinch of salt on top. For more information, please visit our website at yourbakemark.com. Thank you for watching.